So today we're going to take the mini quad outside and do a loiter test with Arducopter 3.0.1. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through uh, setting up your switch on your Turner G9X. We'll use the gear switch and configure it in Mission Planner. Then we'll see uh, how the loiter capability works with this mini quad. I'm kind of anxious to see. I've done loitering quite a bit with uh, larger frame quads. So the mini quad will be, I think, quite a challenge for the APM. With the latest firmware, uh, there's been a lot of tweaks to uh, calibration routines and uh, really trying to minimize interference. And if you notice this APM sitting right here in the middle, but there's ESC leads everywhere. Uh, the, the PDB is right under the APM. So if you've seen any videos of loitering and kind of the toilet bowl effect where the quad is going in circles, a lot of that is uh, largely due to electromagnetic interference. Okay, so for starters I'm going to wire up channel 5 on my receiver and we'll wire it up to channel 5 on our APM. Okay, now we have channel 5 from the receiver going to channel 5 on the APM. Okay, next let's go ahead and set up our gear switch so that we tell it that it's linked to channel 5 on the receiver. Okay, there we have gear, so hit menu, now we're saved. Now our gear switch is configured. So let's go ahead and dive into Mission Planner and set up Loiter. Now with your APM connected to your computer, go ahead and click Connect. Now what we'll want to do to set up the Loiter flight mode is we'll go into Software, then Flight Modes. And if you recall, we connected our receiver to input number 5 on the APM. So make sure that your transmitter and receiver are binded together. You can see the PWM that's coming on channel 5 is around 1700 and that puts us in flight mode 5. You can configure your endpoints for the gear switch uh, to pretty much whatever you want to be and uh, fall within the ranges of these other flight modes but for the sake of this demonstration I'm using flight mode 5 and you'll notice that when I toggle my switch, I'm in stabilize. Now I go to loiter and back to stabilize. Go ahead and save that. Okay, so now we're ready to take it out and loiter this guy. Uh, before I do, I just want to show you the difference in size related to my standard 3D robotics Arducopter and this mini quad. Okay, before you loiter, one of the first things that you want to make certain of is that uh, your GPS has a good fix and you'll notice that the actual board, little GPS board, has a blinking blue LED and then our APM board, the C LED, the blue one is still blinking. So we need to wait for both of those to go constant and then we'll be able to arm, take it up and loiter. Our GPS board has a constant blue LED and our APM GPS LED is constant and we're ready to go give loiter a try. Okay and what I'm gonna do now is we're about 15-20 feet in the air. I'm gonna flip my gear switch to loiter. You can see it working. Kind of getting close to that tree there. It's starting to toilet bowl a little bit. I'm gonna bring it back. See if we can get it nice and stable before I go into loiter. Okay, we're in loiter again. Loitering. No input from the sticks. Ryan, hang on. Don't go in those trees.
So that was a demonstration of how to set up Loiter with your APM 2.5 and turn a G9X. Now, my expectations weren't very high given the size of this mini quad frame and just how close the uh, components are, motors and ESCs are, to uh, the compass. I noticed some toilet bowling going on with the mini quad, but you know that's to be expected and you can do some calibrations like the compass moat uh, configuration to, to reduce the amount of interference. But my main intent was to show you how to set up loiter and actually see how uh, this mini quad performed. If I were in a field, I feel like this thing could have loitered all day. It loitered for about a minute, but then I had to flip into stabilized flight mode just so it wouldn't end up in a tree. And I have done loiter with my Arducopter and TVS frames. And loitering with the bigger frames is definitely more dialed in. So I hope this was useful for helping you to set up your loiter and your APM. Please post any questions or comments below and thanks for watching.